who enlargeth his desires, who enlargeth his desire as hell. And uh, that's another thing about Esau, who is the, which is the progenitor of these so-called white people. Esau is a very covetous person, you know? Their ultimate desire is what? A new coeptus, Ordo Ab Chao, the New World Order. They want all nations to come together with one common idea, one religion, one belief. And the so-called elites, they want to be gods over their new world order. Okay, that, that's their ultimate desire. You know, another desire of Esau is conquering, man. All they want to do is, is make war, take the resources of other countries which don't belong to them, and then leave their country completely dried and destitute of life. That's why you look at certain parts of the world. What do you see? You see marine life beaching themselves. You see birds dropping dead. You no, know, you you see you 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 see bees dying left and right. You don't even see bees like that anymore. You know. I remember seeing bees like four years ago around the house that we are in now. And they were like all over the house. But now you don't even see bees like that anymore. You might see like one or two bees here and there, but it's not supposed to be like that. No, this man wants to take control of everything. And then he puts a price on everything. You know, these motherfuckers got people spending a dollar for a bottle of water from a goddamn water bottle machine. And it's all about money with these devils. If they could put a price on it, they would. You know, they got a price for clean air. They got a, uh, uh, they got prices on, on diffusers. They got, you know, like, everything costs money in this society, man. Okay, and is as death, okay? Another thing about Esau is this man is as death. Okay? Well, like 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 they tell you in that movie, The Planet of the Apes, when they was reading from the scrolls, they said this man is the harbinger of death. The harbinger of death. Okay? So doesn't that make sense as to why so-called white people love wintertime more than any other season of the year? If you notice, so-called white people seem to be the most joyous when, when, when it's wintertime. Yeah, they may, they may seem happy and excited around the summertime, but when it comes to the wintertime, so-called white people seem to be very, very joyous. They're out playing in the snow and shit, having snowball fights. You know why? Because they are the harbinger of death. They love death. Like at my job, I mean, they have a whole entire candy section. And let me tell you something, 90% of that candy is death. Or you might have like a particular disease or something. They might have a drug for it. 
but then you read the side effects and it tells you this product may cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, itching, or in worst case scenarios, death. Okay. I mean, look, I mean, just look at, just, just look at some of the products on the shelves, okay? Soda did not exist back in the ancient world. There was no such thing as soda. Like you got Coca-Cola, you got Pepsi, you got Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, Orange Mango. You got all these damn sodas. And if you notice, they're cheap. You could buy a can of soda for like 50 cents. And soda ain't nothing but death. What's your body gonna profit from soda? You know, they got all these damn junk food aisles where you could buy Debbie snacks, Twinkies, Cakes, cupcakes, cookies, cream fillings, donuts, ice cream. And let me tell you something, people buy that shit up. And trust me, I know because that those shits be sold out a lot. The, the, uh, the, the snack section with the fruit roll-ups, that shit be sold out. I can't see how they can just eat fruit roll-ups like that back to back. But then people wonder why cancer is at an all-time high in this society. People wonder why, you know, diabetes is running rampant like a wildfire out here. You wonder why. Because look at what the fuck you're eating. You're eating pork chops, chitlins. You're eating pig feet, pig ears. You no, know, they have clam oil. They have mini shrimp, bite-sized shrimp, lobsters. And those things are cheap compared to chicken, beef, steak. But even you have to watch the type of chicken and beef that you eat, you know? Some, uh, some, some chuck beef uh, has pork in it, you know? And, and some of that shit is not even real beef. It's pink slime. So this man is as deaf. Just look at the Middle Eastern countries. All you see is death down there. Ruins, rubble, dirt and smoke everywhere, fire, dead bodies, dead animals, people blown to pieces. Because all this man knows is death. Okay, look at some of the, uh, the oceans. You know, you got hundreds of thousands of sea creatures beaching themselves because the oceans which they're living in is not a possible place to live at no more. And why is that? You know, sea creatures, they're not beaching themselves so they can feel the nice warm heat of the sun. They're beaching themselves because this fucking devil keeps throwing trash and, and plastic, metals, and all kind of harmful toxins into the oceans. Okay, look at the Fukushima radiation. Yeah, them, them gooks are responsible for that, but who started building factories first? Esau. Because, uh, cause, you know, gooks, gooks, they're, they're, they're just copycats. They're really good copycats. You know? They see somebody do something, they can copy it well, man. I mean, they, they can copy it well, man. They see Esau wearing a suit and tie, guess what? They got a suit and tie. 
They see a, they see Esau got a McDonald's. Guess what? They got a McDonald's. They 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 see that uh, Western women are wearing pants. Guess what? Goop women wearing pants now. So goop gooks are they they are experts at, at being copycats. So uh, Fukushima, you know, radiation. They really got it from America. America started building these factories and the gooks simply started building factories too. So it all goes back to Esau still at the end of the day. And if you look at America, man, America is filled with factories. Factories all over. And you walk past some of these factories, they be stinking. Especially, especially when we be on our way to camp. You know, the air be smelling like shit sometimes. You'll be thinking you're walking past a landfill or something. But it's really just a factory. You know, did they have a place where there's nothing but metals and toxins? Because metal is toxic, especially, especially when it starts to rust. That's why you're never supposed to eat from a, 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 a rusted pot. Or, or eat from a, a rusted pan or, or eat from a rusted spoon because you can get sick no look at the water the water itself is death you can't drink tap water your pineal gland will become calcified you know I mean, I only drink tap water because I absolutely have to. Because I can't afford a bottle of water right now. But trust me, if it was up to me, I'd be drinking bottled water. And even bottled water is not good for you because it's in plastic. Plastic contains, contains a chemical called bisphenol, which is the chemical known to cause cancer, diabetes, erosion of teeth, osteoporosis, and then ultimately, uh, uh, pregnancy problems, man. That's why a lot of these kids have autism. Because they're constantly touching plastic. What are, what are toys made from? Plastic.